Chapter 11, verse 1. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Now, faith is the reality of what is hoped for. The proof of what is not seen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Just for a few moments, we want to speak to you from this subject, when faith becomes reality. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Preach this. In our text, the writer of Hebrew states in verse 1, that true faith is the el piso menon, in other words, the substance of our hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. That faith, true faith, makes what we believe substantial or substantiates what we believe so that what we believe becomes real. Because it is real, it is all the proof we need to continue believing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Further in the chapter, and I suggest, strongly suggest, even urge every believer in the house to read the entire chapter 11 of Hebrews. Amen. Further in the chapter, the writer of Hebrews goes on to give examples of what faith can do. From Abel, who gave a great, who by faith gave a greater sacrifice unto God than his son Cain, who by faith Enoch pleased God so that he never even tasted death. To Noah, who built an ark, yes. preparing for rain, yet there was no rain to be seen. Amen. To Abraham and Sarah, who believed God for a child, even in their advanced years. Amen. To Abraham, who took his son Isaac uh, to go and make a sacrifice unto God, yet there was no sacrifice to be found. Hallelujah, hallelujah to Joseph who survived being brought, sold into captivity by his own brothers into Egypt to become second in command for, to Moses uh, who was not well spoken uh, but spoke for God anyhow uh, and let the children of Israel out of Egypt. Uh, God blessed them and used them because of the reality of their faith. Amen. Without faith, we can't please God. We have to believe that God truly exists uh, and that he's a rewarder of those who earnestly and eagerly seek him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, you got to believe that he's real. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Stop for a moment. Huh? God helps those Not those who help themselves. Right. But God helps those who have faith. Amen. It doesn't take faith to do stuff ourselves. Because we have a tangible knowledge of our abilities. We know what we can and cannot do. So it doesn't take faith for us to try to do stuff ourselves. But when we believe in the God that can do anything. Yes, yes. That's when the miraculous happens. Amen. When we believe in the God that we can't see, yes. but believe that he still is, yes. the miraculous happens. Yes. For too many of us, faith is merely something we do on Sundays from 11 to 1. All right. 
is quiet. I didn't hear nobody. I'll say that again. Too often, faith is merely something we do on Sundays from 11 to 1. When we leave the building, faith stops being real and is replaced by, quote, real life. You're looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. When we leave the building, we handle things our own way or this world's way and not God's way. And then get upset with God and get set up, upset with the church when it messes up and blows up in our face. Amen. But when faith becomes our reality, we handle life by faith in and outside the church doors. We handle our lives by faith, understanding that we are not our own, but we belong to Almighty God. We handle challenges by faith, knowing we are promised victory. We handle sickness by faith, knowing by his stripes we are healed. We handle our finances by faith, knowing that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. We handle our needs by faith. Hallelujah, whatever our needs may be. Knowing that if we seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, everything that we need will be given unto us. We handle everything by faith, knowing that we can handle all things through Christ that strengthens us. When faith becomes real, that's when miracles happen in our lives. When faith becomes real, uh, even if the doctor says you're sick uh, and you can't get well, uh, healing uh, comes in your body. Uh, when faith becomes real, uh, we no longer depend uh, on our family and our friends, uh, but we learn how to depend on Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. We can testify uh, that through it all, uh, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus, and I've learned how to trust in God. Through it all, I've learned to depend on His Word. When faith becomes real, life's problems can't bring us down, can't make us feel depressed and defeated. Because we know that the word of God says that we ought to thank God even in the storm. Thank God even in the midst of trouble. Thank God even in the midst of sickness. Thank God even when we've lost our jobs and we're so broke we can't even pay attention. We ought to thank God who's given us the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Stop being so quick to take action and learn how to wait on the Lord. Because they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their surrender. They shall rise up on wings like an eagle. They shall walk, not get weary, run, and never faint. Hallelujah. Wait till you hear a word from the Lord, believing that he will give you tangible guidance and tell you how he's going to work it out. Somebody see it. When faith becomes real, we learn how to patiently wait on God, understanding that you can't hurry God. Oh, no, no, no. You just have to wait. He's a God. I said he is a God. He is a God that you can't hurry. I wish I had a witness. He'll be there. 